It is very important to use the correct brush when painting. Firstly, the results will be better if you use the proper equipment, and secondly, it is much more enjoyable to work with the correct tools. There's actually a big difference between a good and a bad brush. A real quality pig bristle brush will give better results with less amount of effort. For example, at least 90% of the bristles are of equal length, which means that it holds more paint and distributes it more evenly and smoother. A brush of high quality always pays for itself in the long run. Brushes come in a variety of sizes, thicknesses and shapes, and each type has its special area of use. Here are some tips on what brush you should use. The varnish brush is a thick brush that holds paint well and gives the user the opportunity to apply the paint continuously wet on wet. A varnish paint is normally a little thinner and therefore fairly large brushes can be used that provide easy coverage of the paint without exerting too much energy when smoothing it out. Varnish brushes can also be used with a well diluted linseed oil paint which has approximately the same viscosity as varnish paint. The facade brush is available in a variety of shapes. Your own personal preferences determine what sort to use. Common to them all is that it is a robust brush that can handle uneven surfaces such as plaster or sawn timber. The handle is generous and you should be able to work with it for a long period of time without it being hard work. A large and varied facade may require brushes of different sizes, partly to be able to paint efficiently over large areas and partly to access every nook and cranny. The primer brush can be found in many different forms and has a wide area of use. It is used, for example, within carpentry, furniture, panelling and more besides. A smaller primer brush holds just enough paint for a precision job. The substrate profile and personal experience determine what type of primer brush should be used. The flat brush is used to smooth out the paint very evenly. This is called paint displacement. A flat brush is a precision tool that is completely flat at the top and does not shed any of its bristles. These brushes are only used for the final coat on smooth surfaces in order to achieve the best possible finish. The actual paint application is best done with a primer brush. A flat brush does not wear out and should last a whole lifetime of painting. Profile and window brushes are small tools for more delicate work. They are used for small areas and profile joinery. A small brush is perfect for painting the borders on, for example, windows, mouldings or wallpaper. Angled brushes are all round brushes that are used for finishing off to access tight spaces. An angled brush is used simply where you cannot reach with a straight brush. The roller is an efficient tool for painting large smooth surfaces. By rolling on the paint from a tray, the paint is evenly distributed over the whole roller. The result doesn't look the same as when using a brush, but acquires a structure with a lightly grained surface. It is easy to clean brushes that have been used with linseed oil paint. Wipe off any leftover paint on a piece of paper or a board, then wipe the brush with a cloth. It is important to rinse the cloth in water before throwing it away to prevent spontaneous combustion. Brushes that are used with linseed oil paint should be washed in soap and water. It is a good investment to look after your brushes as a good brush is expensive. A second-hand well-maintained brush is also better to work with than one that is brand new. If you intend to continue painting in a few days using the same paint, it is not necessary to wash the brushes but just let them remain in raw linseed oil so that the paint doesn't dry. A good, well-maintained quality brush is a piece of equipment that will last for many years.